Okay. <laughs> so I am cutting some two inch strips. Uh, making a hell of a mess. And they, these are gonna be the, um, oh, I guess you could call them like a joist for the roof. Uh, they're also gonna be the channel that I put uh, wires through. So for like the solar uh, to go from outside on the roof um, and to put my recessed lights in and everything. Cause my ceiling is gonna be five centimeters thick. Cool. I worked on these pieces. So this is the kitchen uh, ceiling. And then that darker piece up there is the bathroom ceiling. And it's two of them. So this will get moved over, it'll come to a point. And uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is because, like I think I've mentioned before, the door back there is not tall enough. Um, to get the whole center hull out so i have to i have the bottom part made and now i need to make the top part all in one piece and then either move it on the other side of the shop where the door is larger or just move it outside and stitch the top of the center hull to the bottom of the center hull um that's the plan so I did that so I could get nice straight pieces and so I didn't have to work um, upside down so much. So this one has been filleted in quite nicely. I put two layers of six ounce cloth to uh, um, over the gusset or, or the fillet, the fillet, I, which is I guess just technically a gusset anyway. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the state of things. So, okay. All the pieces for the top center hull have been cut like this. So this is the kitchen shelf. It must be the starboard side. Um, if you see this, section here is the pass-through to get to the cabin um, or to get to the I guess the rear left cabin rear right cabin rear right cabin rear starboard cabin but this is the shelf so, so like this you'll pass through under here like this this is a simulation but you'll have to crawl in because it's only like three feet tall oh no um yeah i have two of those here the entryway for the uh, actual back is right there okay so the idea here is to um, put the kitchen walls, which go in these red lines here. We're going to put some glass in here first, uh, and some filler to fill this joint. And then we will, I'm making, I'm hot gluing two layers of this foam together to make a brace so that I can maintain the distance between the two walls. Um, and I'll make a couple of these so that the walls stay perfectly parallel um yeah and then we'll hot glue along this line we'll put the wall in we'll put the braces in and then we'll fill it and glass the joints and 
yeah then then i'll come back for a for an update <laughs> Um, so right now I'm just holding this seam together so some hot glue can create a uh, temporary joint um, just to hold it uh, flush so that the surface is flat. Um, yeah, and I'll do that a couple more times uh, along the seam so that, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit more robust and I don't mess up. Yeah, wish me luck. All right, here we are. Um, I have this sort of jig set up with two speed squares. Um, and then I will hot glue this foam piece in after I get the sides on. That'll hold it together. And then I'll add another piece here and then another one um, at the, that would be actually at the top of the walls. So if everything goes right, I will have a nice um, parallel set of walls. Let's rock and roll, let's do it. Um, I'm gonna do the starboard side first. Oh, I also put this um, blue straight edge uh, at the top here so that I can just push the piece up to there and it will be where it's supposed to go. Um, let's do it.
Okay, welcome back. It's Sunday. Been, spent the last three days here, and I got a ton of shit done. Um, the piece I have on the table here is the roof. It is about a 16 foot long uh, flat section. There's two of them stacked on top of each other right now. So it'll be a little bit wider than it is when I actually put it on the roof. Uh, I got the kitchen structure um, temp up there. And I have the other bathroom section, the two bathroom sections right there. And then they'll get kind of like a steepled, gabled uh, roof section added to them next weekend. And then this whole long piece will go the whole length of it. So yeah, good weekend. Um, I don't know, I'm tired. It's been a long weekend. So uh, yeah, any questions, let me know. Uh, comments, let me know. And uh, see you next weekend.